All right, welcome back to another episode. So we're inside the Nest.js project right now. In the last video, what we did was we set up a timeout command for our uh, for our bot, and we also uh, and prior to that video, before that, we also set up a kick command as well. Uh, and remember, we used the moderation lock entity instead of just creating two more entities for kick and timeout individually. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new endpoint that's just going to be fetching the mod logs. And it's going to return pretty much uh, all the mod logs, including its uh, type. So it'll include, it'll, it'll include all the timeout logs, all the kick logs. So we'll be able to fetch that from the front end. Okay, so let's go and do that. However, the first thing that we'll need to do is obviously create the uh, the type ORM entity for mod log. It has to match the uh, it has to match the one that we created for our Discord bot. So let's go back to the Discord bot project and we'll go inside uh, moderation log. And I'm just going to literally copy this and go inside my entities and we'll create a new file called moderation log.ts. Paste that in here. And we're going to need to create the custom moderation action type. So let's do that as well. So I'll go back into the bot, take the type, copy that, and then paste that in my types.ts file in the nest.js project, uh, which is inside the utils folder. Okay, paste that right over here. So now we'll just have to go back to the entity, import moderation action type like that. Okay, we just had to obviously change the import for moderation action type because it was in a different location. Okay, because we are our folder structure is slightly is a little bit different than uh, our folder structure for the Nest.js API is a little bit different than the bot. Okay, but anyways, now that we have the entity, uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we import that inside the barrel file. So this index.ts file imports uh, moderation log and we have to export that inside the entities array. So that way this is now registered inside type, uh, not type worm, this is registered inside the database. Okay, so we can actually use this moderation log entity now. Okay, so we'll go inside the guilds module and we'll go inside controllers. And the same thing that we did with this uh, guild ID bands endpoint, instead of just removing this, because like I said, we're, we are going to migrate away from this in just a bit. Well, we actually not migrate, but what we'll do is we'll actually modify this. So we'll filter out uh the api call so that way it'll only give us bands instead of just everything because we'll, we'll have separate endpoints to give us just bands kicks and timeouts okay but we're going to create a similar uh controller method so we'll do at get the guild id as the route parameter and then we'll go ahead and do uh i guess we'll call this um let's see should i call this mod logs or i kind of want to just call this uh slash moderation slash logs i guess we'll do that i mean i could call it logs i, I guess i'll just call it logs for now okay so get guild logs so we're going to need the route parameter so we'll use the decorator param to get that And then we're also going to need the query parameter as well from date, because remember, we're going to get the last seven days or last 30 days. So we'll go ahead and do that as well from date. And then we're going to go ahead and go into our service. So we'll go into the interface first. And then what we'll do is we'll create a method. So inside I guild service, we'll create a we'll create an abstract method called get guild logs. And it's just going to take in the same parameters guild ID as well as the date. And then it's just going to return instead of an array of guild band logs, it's going to return an array of moderation, whoops, moderation log like that. Okay, uh, so now we got to go to the implementation of I guild service, which is guilds.service.ts. This is guild service over here. And it, we're just going to do that right down here. So get guild logs. And it's literally just going to look the same as this right over here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this, but we actually have, before I do that, we actually do need to inject the mod log repository inside our guild service. But we also need to make sure we go inside the guilds module and add, uh, not 
that's a moderation log entity right over here. Okay, right over here. So that way we can now actually use that repository API inside our guild service implementation. So I'll just copy this, paste that over here, pass in moderation log. Okay, that's imported up here. Seems like, yep, it was auto imported for us earlier. We'll change this to mod log repository and then change this to moderation log. Cool. And all we got to do is just copy this implementation because it's literally just the same thing. Okay. And instead of this dot ban log repository, it's this dot mod log repository. Same thing down here too. Okay. So if we go over to logic again, what happens is if from date is provided, we're going to search, uh, we're, we're going to search for all of the records from the mod log table. Uh, filtered out by the guild ID as well as uh, the records issued on a date that is greater than or equal to the date that we provide. So, for example, if we provided the date January 7th and a guild ID of 123, it's going to give us all of the records of guild ID 123 with the issued on date greater than or equal to January 7th. Okay, if we don't provide a date, it'll just give us all the records based off the guild ID. Okay, so it literally works the same way as get guild bands. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just go inside our get go inside our get guild logs method inside the guilds.controller.ts file and just literally call that method for us from our service. So this.guild service gets uh what did I call this? Uh get guild logs. There we go. Pass in the guild ID from dates. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Okay. So we're inside our browser. So let's do slash API slash guilds. We're going to need the guild ID. So let me go ahead and grab the guild ID. So that's the guild ID right over there. And I think we did slash logs. So there you go. This gives us all the logs. So it gives us kick, kick, timeout, 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 timeout. And obviously when we ban users, that will also appear here. We haven't migrated that yet. We'll do that later. Okay. So you can see we have kick, kick, timeout, 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 and all for the same guild so now all we got to do is well we're pretty much done with the back end okay we can also add additional features too so for example we can add additional query parameters uh to uh to to narrow down our search so for example if we want to search for only bands we can add an additional query parameter for bands we can add additional query parameter for kicks uh for timeouts etc etc but I think we'll leave it like this for now. Okay, but that's up. I just want to give you all ideas on what you could also do as well. Okay, so now that we're done with this, uh, what I'll do, and I'll do this uh, off camera, I'll just populate our database with a couple more records, and we're going to jump into the React app, and we're going to go ahead and fetch this endpoint, and we're just basically going to filter out this data uh, into three categories, or for now, two categories, into kick and timeout. And then we're going to go ahead and prepare the data for kick and timeout. And then we're going to render it uh, with chart.js. So thank you for watching this episode. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.